Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, obviously, we'll get you all, uh, you know, an update on Felipe when we have one, you know, uh, finally. But I think, uh, uh, you know, they feel, they feel pretty certain that there was, uh, you know, the break with the dislocation, so he'll be out for the year. Um, it's obviously a huge loss for us. I had to play that game really shorthanded. You know, I think we were down. Uh, Zuniga kind of went down the first play of the game, didn't play again, and you're already uh, down a couple other defensive starters going into the game. So, um, you know, with Bernie out and CJ out. So we're pretty banged up. But uh, really interesting how the game played out. You know, with a couple minutes left, it was about four minutes left. It was, you know, I mean, basically the exact same game as last year, right? I mean, it was, it was 21 to 10. We score. We go for two. Right? We miss a field goal, so it's 21 to 10. Uh, one that Evan rarely misses. Uh, I don't, like, never. Uh, you know, we get it back. We go, we score, go for two. Don't get it. Same exact score, except with four minutes to go this year. We make a stop. Uh, we get the ball, we go down, we go score, go ahead, touchdown. We get another stop on defense. Poor coaching on my part. I would make it a huge emphasis. I had Josh in there for a reason. Make sure, you know, stay in bounds, execute it, find the lane, set it up, cut it back underneath so you stay in bounds. And poor coaching that I didn't get down. Because uh, if he gets down, we would take any of the games over. He, But that's really hard to tell guys to do to just – Take a dive, you know, and just lay there on the field. Um, so we score, and then we make plays to win the game on defense again at the end of the game. So uh, Bruce really proud, proud of our guys to make the plays we needed to, even on their field goal attempt. I, mean, I went over and told them, we got to stop them here. You know, I mean, they got a young kicker. You, well, let's stop them. We stop them here. Third and one, you, you can't let them keep going. Okay, stop them here, get us the ball, so we still have a time to win, and they, and we did. We made, you know, we were we weren't very good on third. You know, we did a lot of bad, poor things poorly. We were really bad on third down all night long on defense until we needed to be good, and we found a way to be good at the end. Uh, offensively, we killed ourselves with some penalties. Um, you know, at critical moments, you know, every time we're hey, we hit an explosive play, holding penalty. Hey, we're in the red zone, first and twenty-five. Um, so. That was kind of disappointing, but uh, but, we, but 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 again, we found a way to win, and we didn't do that last year. Obviously, and that's a big win. I mean, that's an excellent football team. I mean, I don't know. You meet with the production crew. I mean, and I, I know with the rankings, everybody does stuff. I mean, there, there's hard you're hard pressed. I mean, there's 25 better teams in the country than Kentucky. They should be a ranked team. Uh, Mark's done a great job with the program. You look at the talent, the guys they have out there in the field. They're big. They're physical. They play hard. They got playmakers. Um, So, what do you guys got? I, I, you know, I went out there and, and I was with him, you know, told him we all loved him and, you know, we're there for him and, you know, I mean, it'll be all right. Uh, the, uh, you know, and then I think the team, you know, it shows, shows what he means to the team and what the team thinks of him. You know, as a leader of the team and the type of guy he is, uh, how hard he works uh, to go do that. And, you know, shows a lot about him and what the team thinks. It, it really, to me, shows what our team, the respect that they have for his leadership and, uh, and the love that they have for him. You know, it's a pretty close team. And these guys work hard for these things. And, you know, uh, it's just a tragedy when that happens. Well, well, it wasn't that. I mean, I told both of them as soon as – like, you got – I know everybody gets into it, and I've always said from day one, we, we want to have three starting quarterbacks because you never know how things are going to shape out, right? I think we do. I think our guys prepare ourselves to have three starters. Uh, even coming out of halftime, I'm like, hey, um, Emory, get ready because we had a little package I was going to get him in for. Uh, and when Felipe went down, I called both of them. I said, okay, we're going to roll you guys through right now because I kind of had that package. Uh, you know, we're having so much success throwing the ball. And, you know, I know Emory's got such a great – I mean, does have great arm talent. Kyle's just been in some of those situations before. You know, when, especially when – you know, at that point when you're kind of more in a drop back. You know what I mean? I mean, Emory makes you a little nervous because of the run play action and all that stuff he can bring to the table. Uh, a little more drop back role. And Kyle was kind of hot, so he just kind of 
stuck with it. I had a couple things still for Emory to get him in, and we just kind of stuck with it with Kyle right there, and he was rolling. So, uh, But moving forward, you know, I mean, honestly, we're going to play both guys moving forward. Yeah, the I think just I don't know. I mean, I watch it. Practice. You know the same I said. I've been on. It, it is kind of in today's college football world. Everyone wants to jump, jump the gun. You know, Kyle never. I said, Kyle, hey, if you're not the guy, where's your situation? He said, I'm, I'm here. I'm like, okay, you're graduating. What's the situation? I'm here. I'm ready, ready to learn, ready to go to grad school. Love being a Gator. You know, I'm gonna work my tail off and compete. Oh, I've never heard a peep from any of our quarterbacks. All I hear from them is, let's get ready for when my number's called to go make the play. Uh, you don't know when that's going to be. Uh, I, I can't tell you how hard it is to do what Kyle did. Not not when he got on the field. You know, we, we've seen that. To prepare yourself. You know, I mean, if you're a backup wide receiver, you're going to play 30 plays in a game. I mean, if you're on the D-line, you're going to rotate and play. Backup running backs, we roll those guys through. You're in Kyle's position, you know. There's, you're like, hey, I gotta prepare. I gotta prepare. I gotta be ready for every moment and everything they're gonna do, and then not play. And then I gotta do that again next week. That's really hard to do. And I, I think people, it, it, it's it's a tribute to him, of his mental toughness, his preparedness, and his being ready for that opportunity. Well, I, you know, I, I learned. We we still got a long way to go. You know, I'm. You know. Uh, I think Kentucky's an excellent football team. I think we came on the road and got a in a very tough environment, came and got a big time win. Uh, and I think we, when dealing with adversity, we found ways to win. You know, I mean, we've we've had a couple of tough games. You know, I mean, we seems like we've been in season five weeks. We've played one game in the swamp. You know, and we've we've been in tougher and tough environments against good football teams, and we found ways to win. Uh, and I think you can build a lot off of that. We need to try. We need to get healthy. You know, we need to get healthy. Um, you know, because right now we don't, and, and in recruiting, we eventually we'll build up the depth, hopefully, where we can get through some of this. Um, you know, so, but we need to get healthy. and But we get to go to the swamp for the next three weeks. Get to be home, you know, next week. I, I know it's an early kick, but, I, but I'm going to tell you what, I mean, we need, we need 90,000 of the Gator Nation making, giving us that home field advantage, making that place, I mean, just crazy for the other team coming in there. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.